So this is just a quick question on how vacuum flasks reduce uh, heat loss by conduction, convection and radiation. So it says the diagram shows the structure of vacuum flask. Right, they've shown you the diagram and the diagram goes and it contains a number of features. So you've got a plastic cap, you've got a fact that it's glass, the fact that there's a vacuum in it, you've got a silver surface, stuff like that. So they both tell you all of that on the diagram. So you'll have to remember to go and talk about that. So a vacuum flask is designed to reduce the uh, rate of heat transfer. Describe, if we're describing something, you're going to have to say more than one thing. How the design of the vacuum flask keeps liquids hot. Right, so the first thing that you can talk about is plastic cap. So plastic is a poor conductor. So because it's a poor conductor, heat won't go and conduct through it. The cap goes and stops heat leaving by conduction and convection right so it's stopping heat losing being lost through the top uh, so the molecules can't go and evaporate so can't go and evaporate out and lose heat in that way and just in general so overall the cap is stopping heat loss by conduction convection and radiation and uh, evaporation right if it's glass container, right, glass is also a poor conductor, so the glass stops or reduces heat transfer by conduction. The vacuum, right, so the vacuum goes kind of there. There's no particles in it, so therefore it will stop heat loss by conduction and convection, right, because there's no particles for the energy to be moving through. And finally, the silver surfaces, they reflect infrared radiation, right? So, they're poor emitters of infrared radiation as well. So, the infrared radiation, so the heat energy is reflected back in. Right, so they are just a few of the key things that you need to think about when answering questions on vacuum flasks.